Season 15, Episode 8. Last time on Races to Places, Norman and myself camp on the top of a cliff by a lighthouse. En route, the heavens opened and gave me a good old soaking. Well, seeing as I'm already wetter than an otter's pocket, I might as well check out another waterfall. Let's go get close to the waterfall together. It's super loud. And the, the, the blast from the spray is crazy. Wow, finally escaped the wind. That was a hectic day, really hectic day. I never rode in so much wind for so long. It's finally calm. Cheers to that. Guys, here we are on the southeast coast of Iceland, and this is the first chance, the first opportunity I've had to bring you, to show you one of the glaciers. Now, this is one of the exit points from the massive ice cap, the biggest ice cap. I think it's the biggest on the island in the southeast. It runs down towards the southeast coastline. It's, guys, it's so windy. <coughs> it runs down towards the th southeast coastline and there's from what I can see on the road I can see at least four exit points this is one of them and I was able to ride my bike right up here to this viewpoint you can see these giant chunks of ice the whole glacier just like a living thing moving down the canyon. Oh, it's so windy, I've never seen anything like it. I was riding my bike and I literally got blown off the road today. That's how windy it is. I'm having to shout so much just so that you can hear what I'm saying. Wow. Vatnajökull has also had its fair share of fame. The glacier featured in an opening sequence of the 1985 James Bond, A View to Kill. Also, Westlife's official music video, What About Now? Hi everyone, can you believe that it's 10 years since I started making videos on my YouTube channel? I'd like to thank you all for following along and for all the comments you make in the comments section below each video. I love reading them. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and more importantly the bell icon so you get instant notifications when I release a new video. More so however, if you want to see priority viewing of my video episodes, podcasts and even special features, you can do so over on patreon.com slash linden Poskit. You can check it out at the link in the top right corner. Thanks again and enjoy this video. 
the camera just got blown over and it's on the tripod with rocks on it and everything. Wow. It's wild. Woo! <laughs> well, after about an hour of searching, I think I've finally found a camp spot without any wind. Check it out. My little volcanic sand pit. All sun shining this morning. Let's see what we've got outside. Oh yeah. Stunning weather. Better go make the most of it because it'll change in a few hours. <laughs> this is Iceland. Time to get the map out though and work out where we're going next. Okay, so we're somewhere in here. Um, somewhere in here. Yeah, we're going across there. We're going to end up out there. But then there's also some tracks up here we could do. Well, there's just tracks everywhere, basically. So far, the river crossings haven't been very deep here in Iceland. Looks like things are about to change now. As I've mentioned before, when you're unsure of a river's depth, it's always better to dismount your bike and wade in. Deep rivers can have strong currents which can wash your bike and you away very quickly. Better to check first. Alright, the time has come. It's a big river crossing. It's big and it looks deep so I think we should probably walk it but definitely going to end up with wet feet because it's deep. Um, but I think we have to do it. So going to be a long day with wet feet. Up to my knees, about knee deep, and it's flowing quite fast. Woo! Yeah, it's a big strong river. And the, the bottom is soft as well. Which, whoa, deep, too deep. I think it's too deep. Yep. Woo! Now I'm soaked for the rest of the day. <coughs> Take me back. 
back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me Well, it's been one of those days at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of With these river crossings so deep I'm hoping there's a bridge somewhere As I forgot to pack an arm and snorkel Outside, when there's no shelter to hide, when everything is a lie, you'll find that out in some time. But when the things on your mind are all considered a crime, communication aside, we'll all just wait till you die. Is this an argument or just a start of day? Each day, Amazing, another spectacle. Well, it's time to break off from my journey around Iceland and head back to Yorkshire for a special birthday surprise. It's my father's 70th birthday, and while he might think I'm enjoying myself too much to head back for his birthday, I actually wouldn't miss it for the world. My dad has supported me so much over the years, from teaching me to ride bikes, to being my mechanic at big races like the Dakar Rally, and he's been there for everything else in between. He really is the man behind the boy. Thanks, Dad. Hey everyone, it's uh, early morning and yes, I'm in an airport, a very quiet airport, um, but I'm in the airport at Iceland, uh, but my trip in Iceland is not over yet. I'm just making a small detour in the middle of my trip to fly back to the UK just for two days because it's my dad's 70th birthday tomorrow. So he doesn't know I'm going, uh, but I've just booked a flight. Uh, I rode back to Reykjavik and I'm at the airport now, I'm going to fly to the UK to surprise my dad for his 70th birthday. A pretty big milestone for him and I don't want to miss it. And we've got a bit of a party on and invited a lot of his old friends. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So just a small um, break from the trip to head and see my father and my family. And uh, then I'll be back in Iceland. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> You're going to cut the cake and everybody's going to take a piece home with them. So that I don't have to eat it all. <laughs> Why are we doing it this way? Not too big. Go be tight. How's that? The things you put on there.
my dad's 70th birthday party over and all the cake eaten, it's time to head for the sky and back to the trails in Iceland. Next time on Races to Places, Norman gets a new seat. Comfort for my ass. <laughs> <laughs>